Hey, pal. You know, I don't see your name on that sugar bowl. How about sharing it with us? I believe how rude this guy's being. Takes all kinds. I'll just get up and get it myself. No, then. forget it, Luis. Thanks. I know that guy heard us. Oh, Christmas spirit, that's for sure. Yeah. Must not be from Harmony. See, here people are nice year round, but especially at Christmas time. They really get into the holiday spirit. You see, in our youth, Hank and I, we were known to go a little overboard in the holiday <laughs> tradition, too, weren't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and what sort of pranks at Christmas time did you pull in your wild, impetuous youth? Well, there was one time, remember Hank when we were freshmen at Harmony High? We got that crazy idea. Which crazy idea? About the mistletoe. Oh? <laughs> what a crazy idea about mistletoe. Well, we were just gawky kids Boys. at the time. <clears throat> oh, I know, it's hard to believe considering the handsome and self-confident guys that we are now. And modest, too. <clears throat> Go on. <laughs> anyway, we decided to hang mistletoe everywhere where the kids hung out including over the girls' locker room. You see, that way, we can get kisses from the girls that we were too shy to go up to. That was great, wasn't it, Hank? Yeah. So that's where you got the idea. What idea? Well, Hank told me there was this special place in the park he wanted to take me to, and it just so happened <laughs> that at this place, there was mistletoe hanging. So that's why you guys were kissing? You saw us? Ah. Well, no, I was, you know, I just had to look for that guy who was dressed up as Santa. You know, ask him some questions about the accident that happened with the tree light. You know, I, I thought I caught a glimpse of you and Hank. Oh. So you tricked me, huh? I swear, I, like, <laughs> I had nothing to do with the missile. <laughs> I mean, I'm innocent. <laughs> right. I've got to find a way out of here before Luis spots me. How? Admit it, Hank. All right. All right. I did hang the mistletoe, okay? But I only did it because I wanted you to experience the joys and pleasures of a true Harmony Christmas. Right. So is that the excuse that you and Luis gave those girls in high school to trick them into kissing you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. They didn't buy it either. <laughs> You two must have been a real pair in high school. Oh, we had some good times, didn't we, Louise? Yeah. High school. Some of the best memories of my life. Football games, autumn afternoons. Oh, the cheerleaders and their cute little outfits, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Spring dance. Senior play. Hanging out at Santini's candy shop with the rest of our crowd. It sounds idyllic. You know, it's too bad you didn't go to Harmony High. The three of us could have had a blast. Cranes don't attend public high school with those common folk. They go to fancy boarding schools in Europe. I would have loved to have gone to Harmony High. So why didn't you? There were reasons that I had to leave. Like what? alive. I didn't kill Martin Fitzgerald. I'm not a murderer. My nightmare is over. Thank God. Doesn't matter now. It was all just a terrible misunderstanding. Well, I'm glad you're in harmony now. <laughs> Me too, Hank. So, Luis, have you heard anything more about your father's whereabouts since we got back from New Mexico? Nope. No sign of Martin Fitzgerald anywhere. It's like he vanished into thin air. I mean, we're checking out west, Mexico, Canada. What about the East Coast? No point. He'd be a fool to come anywhere near Harmony. Wherever he is, I'll catch him. You know, I just want to talk to him for one minute. Make him understand all the pain that he's caused by abandoning my mother and our family.
Martin Fitzgerald will pay for what he did. I know you're upset, Louise, but it's Christmas. Don't think about revenge. Think about all the wonderful things you have to be grateful for, like your family. Yeah, you're right. Speaking of Christmas, I gotta do my Christmas shopping. It's Christmas Eve, Hank. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hank always waits till the last minute. It's part of my uh, live life on the edge philosophy. You are so crazy. <laughs> well, thank you again for dinner. I had a wonderful time. So did I. Do it again soon? I'd love to. Want to ride home? I'll grab a cab. You've got shopping to do. You know what? I'll give you a ride. No, I was going to pick up Mama anyway, and then uh, you know, I'd go back on duty and head back to church for midnight mass. All right, then. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, so clumsy. Thanks. Yeah. I, I would hate to lose this again. It really means a lot to me. I'm glad. Strange about that guy. Familiar. I know. But that's the guy whose foot we pull out at the grate. So he didn't thank us then either. Takes all kinds. <laughs> Still something strange about him now. Well, if I don't see you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Hank. Where's the mistletoe? There isn't any. I guess this means I've been a good boy this year. Does this bode well for me and my chances in the new year? We'll see. Now get shopping. See ya. See ya. It's a great guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's smart, funny, nice. Any girl would be lucky to have him. It's funny. Hank says the same thing about you. Huh. You know, uh, Hank's my best friend. I just don't want to see him get hurt. Are you saying you think I'm going to hurt him? No, I'm just saying. You two seem pretty tough. I don't think anyone could ever hurt either of you. You ready? Well, I just wanted to wish Pilar a Merry Christmas before I head over to my cottage. I'll let her know you're out here. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No mistletoe. You're safe. <laughs> <laughs> What's that room over there with the light on? Oh, that's Julian's library. Why? There's someone looking in the window. <laughs>